Alright, this one's gonna be on H top. I used this for a long time now, but I actually never learned how to use it properly. So I actually learned it today. But if you never used this before, it's a command line uh task manager. Kinda like if you ever use KD they have K Syscard, right? And like here they you know they tell you you know all your process that you're running and you can kill it if you want, end process. Uh even shows you some other information like your CPU. Um, memory and swap and all that but yeah you can look at that from uh, each top here it's the same thing it's just lighter and it's from the command line so some things that you need to know if you look at the top here you have these weird bars and stuff like that and you see you have some um, what is that letters and numbers here right the one and two is basically your CPU cores so I have two uh, a dual core here so one to and mem is memory so your RAM I only have about two gigs here and I'm using about um, 300 or yeah 300 there and swap I'm um, using zero because the system only activates swap if your your memory runs out you know and swap is basically hard drive space for RAM uh, and over here they have some other extra information like your task, average load, and your uptime, like how long your computer's been up. All right. Um, some other stuff right here. So you can use the up and down arrows to find the process that you're looking for uh, on your system that's running right now. And the bottom here you have for the F1, F2, F3, and so on and so forth. So F1 will actually help you with what it means, all right? So if you look at those bars and you see like different colors, what does it mean? Um, basically the blue one is low priority, normal, kernel, so on and so forth. You can read that yourself. And here's the high keys. Now if you're on a laptop or something and you say I don't want to use the F1 keys or F2 or whatever, there's alternatives like H uh, for F1 or the question mark. Uh, F2 you can use capital S here, right, so on and so forth if you don't want to use the function keys. Um, but let's get out of that. So, if you want to like search for a uh, what is that? A process. You can use F3, or you can use um, what is that? Forward slash, and you can search for let's say uh, FFmpeg, right? And they find uh, the first occurrence. Now, if you want to find it, and let's do it again. FFmpeg, and if you hit um, F3 will find the next occurrence of it. So if you hit F3 right now, it'll just find all the words that says FFmpeg only. Alright. So that's that. Uh, hit escape, you can cancel out of that. Uh, but what I really recommend is you, hit, you use the filter one, not the search one. Because the search one, it's uh, not really better than the filter. So the filter is F4, or you can use uh, backslash, right? and you search for FFmpeg and just filter out all the other process that you don't need to look at you just want to find you know all the ones that has FFmpeg only so that's that for the filtering um, if you want to kill like a process let me open one here let me say leaf pad or something right and you want to kill it so we just, let's say we filter it out now look for leaf pad there you go it finds it and if you hit um was that F9 here? It'll kill it, right? So F9, it'll tell you like uh, different signals you can send to it on the side here. Uh, the default one on 15 is is okay, but if you ever want to kill some other way, you can do that too. And you hit enter, and then it kills the program. See, there's no more leaf pad. So that's how you would kill um, something if you need to. Anyways, let's go back here. Um, other stuff. Yeah, they have uh, was it F5 for a tree view. So right now we don't have any um, tree, right? F5, and now you have your different trees here, right? So let's say for example, my tree is I'm using Tmux, and then I'm running ZSH, and under ZSH I'm running FFmpeg, right? So on and so forth there. Um, let's go on to the next thing. 
So the other stuff you can do is F6 is for sort. And you sort it by well I think the default one is CPU over here. But you can sort it by memory usage if you want. Right? And it'll the memory will be up top here. So they have different um what's that columns that you can sort it by. That's that though. And right here it says um it was an F7, F8. It says nice minus, nice plus. Uh, that's basically to raise the priority of uh, the task that is running. So any of these tasks you want to raise the priority or I guess allocate more memory to that program uh, to use it. And it's kind of weird but the minus is actually to increase it um, and the plus is to decrease it. It's kind of like uh, if you ever bet on a sporting event or, or a fight or something right when you gamble uh, the favorite fighter is minus and the one that you think is going to lose is plus that's how I think of it when I'm looking at this nice thing here right so to raise something is is a uh, it was a f7 and to decrease something it's actually f8 so plus and minus is kind of weird but that's just how you reverse the order there um what else is there oh yeah let's go on to the f2 here for a setup and here you can do some customization if you want to so by default we're on the meters here and you can go you know the arrow keys uh, left and right and these are actually um, was it has to deal with these bars up here so this over here is one box and this over here is another box so this is your left side it's your right side and that's what you can do in here right so this is your left column your right column and let's say for example I don't or let's say you add something in here let's say I want to add um, CPU average okay so I go to CPU average and we want to hit F5 if you want to add it to the left or F6 if you want to add it to the right let's say we add it to the right so we hit F6 and right now you see it says uh, average uh, the two CPU that I have so one and two is, is the average uh, if you want to delete it you can go go back to the right column here this right column and go down to the CPU right and then you can see that you can move it up and down if you want so F7 and 8 let's see if we do that 7 um, you can see that it's moved the average up here or you can move it down if you want right or you want to delete it is F9 so you hit F9 and it deletes it. So that's what you can do there for different things uh, for the left column or the right column. It's up to you. And here, the, down here for the display, uh, you can actually do some other stuff. What I recommend is doing is a highlight program base name. Uh, otherwise, it'll look like crap. Well, let me show you what it does here. Right? F normally, you see your task like this, and it's all white and stuff like that, but Let's go back to the setup here, F2, display, and now when you hit the highlight program base name here, all you gotta do is hit space, right, and it'll give you a little X there, and then you hit the, what's the, F10 here, and it's done. And now you can see that the little teal color will highlight the programs. Makes it a little bit better to see, in my opinion. Uh, so that's what you can do in there for the setup. What else is here? Oh, they have different color schemes so let me see this one it's uh, just all white this one black and white looks like shit this one looks like shit too uh, MC is for like midnight commander which looks like shit too same with this one the default is, is okay this is the best one uh, so we'll say done F10 uh, the last thing is the columns so this is basically um, you know you can add and delete the columns or move it around but the columns are basically these ones here so you have PID user priority and I think this is nice and virtual and some other crap like CPU and memory but yeah you can you know change the order of that from here or add in the new ones and they actually have other ones in here too if you want to do that right and that's all you gotta do in here is F7 to move up move down remove and done 
anyways that's it for the customization you can do in there and if you never used this program before go ahead and try it it's, it's actually you know really convenient on any uh, Linux distribution because you don't have to open a GUI application you just use uh, your terminal and it's very light to kill your application um, that'd be it for this one right?